In the expansion of 2x squared minus 1 over x raised to the power of 6, what is the constant term? We can use the general term formula to solve this problem. The binomial power tells us that the first term is 2x squared, the second term is negative 1 over x, and the n value is 6. Split apart each product using exponent rules. Express the powers of x as a fraction. When dividing powers, subtract the exponents. The constant term occurs when there is no variable. When the exponent of x is 0, we will get the constant term. Solve the equation 12 minus 3k equals 0 to find k. Isolate the term with k. The value of k is 4. Now that we know k equals 4, plug it into the term formula to get the constant term. Simplify. The fifth term is the constant term, and it has a value of 60. Now we'll move on to part b. In the expansion of 3 over x squared minus x raised to the power of 8, all raised to the power of 10, what is the constant term? We can use a general term formula to solve this problem. The binomial power tells us that the first term is 3 over x squared, the second term is negative x to the power of 8, and the n value is 10. Split apart each product using exponent rules. Express the powers of x as a fraction. When dividing powers, subtract the exponents. The constant term occurs when there is no variable. When the exponent of x is 0, we will get the constant term. Solve the equation 10k minus 20 equals 0 to find k. Isolate the term with k. The value of k is 2. Now that we know k equals 2, plug it into the term formula to get the constant term. Simplify. The third term is the constant term, and it has a value of 295,245. Now we'll move on to part c. In the expansion of root x plus b raised to the power of 6, one of the terms is 240x squared. What is the value of b? We can use the general term formula to solve this problem. The binomial power tells us that the first term is root x, the second term is b, and the n value is 6. The square root of x is the same as x raised to the power of 1 half. When we have a power raised to an exponent, multiply the exponents. We want to get x squared. This can only happen if k equals 2.
simplify. Now plug in the term given in the question. Cancel the x squareds. Isolate b squared. Evaluate the combination. Divide. The answer is b equals 4.